He's taking a lot of punches. I was willing to risk my life in the ring for what I believed. It was really based off the promise I made to him. He's putting his body on the line. He's doing what he does best on the line. He's undeterred by anything, and he's going to fight through at all costs to win. He's setting an example for others. I can't wait to see what's next. The first time I ever saw him box, I, I asked him, where did you learn how to box? And he said, I've never boxed before. Boyd's got dynamite in both hands, and he's got as much natural boxing ability as anyone I've ever met. Boyd was a young freshman who had just completed plea boxing. He was a plea or freshman at West Point. And I wondered who this young freshman was who kept hanging around and going to practice. And I never could quite get his name right. And I ended up knocking out the captain of the boxing team who was a senior and a first day. And I very quickly knew who he was. So that's how it started. I'm a captain in the United States Army Reserve. I'm assigned to the first mobilization support group. I am a plans officer right now. So you thought you were running it for 16 to zero, but you're not. Come June 28th of this year, I'll have been in for 16 years. You know, my, my life changed significantly. At the end of my junior year at West Point, I was home on leave and I went out to a dance club and I met a young woman, she was 19, named Kristen Zaccanino, and, and she broke her neck when she was 10 years old in a diving accident. Kristen and I, we became a couple officially September 22nd um, of 2004, and we stayed together for um, almost five years. And during that time, her dream of walking again became the only thing that mattered to me in this world. And so it started a whole cascade and I started getting involved in different circles, learning about cutting edge research. research. So then one of the circles we got put involved with and in touch with was uh, by this, with the, at Rutgers University. The WM Keck Center for Collaborative Neuroscience is run by a Dr. Wise Young. Dr. Wise Young was one of Christopher Reeve's advisors. And since 08, he had been working on his own clinical trial. So nobody is treating long-term chronic spinal cord injury. We have found a therapy that restores walking bowel and bladder function in such patients. More than half of our patients are walking. They can pee and poop on their own. Then the data looks promising and therefore we're proposing worldwide phase three trials. So Dr. Young needed to raise funds for this trial and needed to get FDA approval. So my whole brain started twisting and trying. I said, so you need to raise funds. When I was an amateur, because of how I look, I stood out because I was successful. When I was an amateur, with being successful and then being mixed between black and white, being light-skinned, being Jewish, being a West Point, being an officer, I used to draw a lot of attention. So if I can do the same thing in the pros and I have a message to give out, we need to raise funds for this, the same thing could happen, I believe. So that was my idea. You know, I was shocked when he said he's going to turn pro and he's going to box to raise money. I said, come on. <laughs> and my very first purse I donated was $1,500. Spinal cord injury has not been on the forefront of the American public for more than 10 years now. We need to bring it back. And look, we're, it, this is not talking about a lot of money. After all, spinal cord injury currently costs more than $20 million per year just to support the people who are now spinal injured. We, we spend less than $60 million on all of spinal cord injury research. We need to bring spinal cord injury into the mainstream of medicine. Hope is the number one item that we have to have on the table before we progress. And right now there's no hope. If this trial can provide hope, it will open doors for many other therapies to come. I'm going to keep doing this until, until I don't feel that calling anymore because I need Kristen to walk and I believe this is the best way to keep inspiring her and others. Boyd has given of himself for this cause in a way that 
This is true service. This is service to humankind. And he's doing this because he really cares. What's so wonderful about this is putting all this energy with the main drive being to help one person. Help mess. And the impact that he's having on lives. To have the vision to say, I'm going to be a professional boxer and I'm going to donate 100% of my purses to charity. That's unbelievable. What a leader of character for our nation. And he's a young captain and I said, I'm reserved. I need Kristen to walk. She still can't walk. So that's, that's when I'll have my moment. That I'll, that's really all it is. It's all that matters. I know this is gonna work. I already see the space, it's gonna work. I just have to go through the motions to get to that space. It's something that's curable, and we need to do it. I often wonder, when we're older in this world, in our lifetimes, if we look back, we say we were part of the time when our world was able to cure paralysis.